so we can program in all sorts of new features uh, that benefit the user. So when you turn on the system for the first time, we have five different ride modes. We have all mountain, cross country, travel management, downhill, and lockout. So in all mountain, this is your generic uh, setting. It's uh, probably what you'd use most of the time, probably 75% of the time. Feels like any other traditional form. Cross country is a setting where you want a little bit more pedaling platform. You don't want so much of your energy wasted in the motions of the fork bouncing up and down. So in this setting, what we've done is we've decided to uh, analyze the data that's coming in and to filter out anything between about 0.8 to about 2 hertz. And these uh, frequencies typically uh, correspond to body movements. So, for example, when you're pedaling legs are moving up and down, they have a significant impact on the motion of the suspension, so we can filter those out. But when you're riding on a fire road and these little pebbles go by, the high frequency be uh, absorbed. The other setting we have here is travel management. This setting is used for climbing uphill. Um, when you're climbing uphill, sometimes a lot of your weight is off the back end and your bike becomes unstable. The front end starts to pick up a little bit and the front wheel starts to wander. And so what we do with travel management is we uh, change the geometry of the bike by dropping the front end and the fork down. So for example, in this setting, now you have a compressed fork. It still works. You, know, you still have your suspension, but now it's just a much shorter travel. When I you get to the top of the climb, you pop that over and you get all mounted and you get everything right back. The favorite feature is the lockout, which also uh, is a showcase for our partner analog devices. Uh, we have one of their ADXL accelerometers built into the spindle. It's down here by the spindle. And it's uh, intermolded into uh, the plastic, so everything's IP68 uh, English production and water. And what that allows us to do uh, is to sense the impact and, and the terrain that's coming in. So, lockout mode is typically used when you're trying to ride, say, for example, from a house to the trailhead uh, on the road. And you don't really need any suspension whatsoever. But every now and then you might get a pothole. And so, this system automatically goes from a fully locked out system to an open system. So, you're riding along on the road and it's locked out. With the impact of a pothole, it automatically opens up. So, you have that suspension to pick up any kind of disturbance. And then downhill is, uh, is the last ride mode here that we have uh, that also uses the ADI technology um, to work with our control works and you know now When you're going downhill, sometimes people will go off small rocks or drops. It might be a, a one, a one to drop or something like that. And with the ADI accelerometer in place, we can detect free fall. So what we can do is preemptively, uh, preemptively adjust the suspension to make it a very fresh landing. But at the same time, because we have uh, controls in place, we can ramp up the suspension so that you don't actually bottom up the suspension. So in, 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 a, in an all mountain bar, it might be uh, very plush and soft, but you might, if you are actually hit something very aggressively, uh, you might blow through all the travel. With the downhill mode in place, uh, you get something plus off the top, but there's a hydraulic bottom out at the bottom. So it's actually impossible, literally, literally impossible, to get it all the way to the very bottom before it goes into all the hydraulic mode. Finally, the last, last key uh, innovation in this technology is that uh, with all these different features, we have uh, the ability to make it simplified for the user. With high importance these days, you have a lot of different knobs to adjust. You have new gun knobs, you have pressure knobs. Um, and uh, some forks these days have as many as 8 to 10 knobs. It gets very confusing for the user. So what I've done is I've programmed in the wider setup mode. When you go in here, you answer a couple of questions, it walks you through the setup, and everything is adjusted for you. So some people uh, like their settings a little firmer, some people like softer suspension. You pick something, you input your rider weight, and it will recommend an air pressure for the air spring for you. You pump that up, you go to the next screen, and it'll measure your, uh, your static sag. So you get on your bike, and we can measure your sag. Some people um, have longer stem, more of their weight is in the front. Some people have a bigger upper body, so their mass is different. So it might be, uh, it might vary a little bit from person to person. You measure your sag, and it'll say, hey, 
Now, based on your settings, we recommended 24%. We actually measured 35. Do you want to adjust your air pressure? If you like what you like or what you have already, you just hit save. And now it's already picked out all the damping profiles specifically for you, for your riding preference as well as your body weight. We have over 10,000 different damping profiles built in, and, uh, and it's already selected those for you. We haven't had too many